Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Raj Singh. I practice here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I run a weight loss program here and my patients are often asking me what can I use in uh, terms of sweetness. Can I use sugar? Is honey better? How about artificial sweeteners? So I thought I'll make a little video to explain a few things but again this is my personal opinion. Some of these are of course medical facts but I might say some things that are my personal opinion so Please discuss with your doctor if you have further questions. So when it comes to artificial sweeteners, to me, most of them kind of work the same way. They have a sweet index, which can be sweeter than sugar from anywhere from like 100 times sweeter to like 5,000 times sweeter than sugar. It can be sweet and low, aspartame, sucralose, monk fruit uh, sweetener. So there's just so many out there. I generally do not recommend artificial sweeteners to my patients and there are a few reasons that I will discuss with you. As we know the artificial sweeteners are too sweet so you would need only a little bit of quantity and the sugar, the taste is just too intense, the sweetness is too intense. So you might ask well what's wrong with that? The, the issue with that is that our brain gets programmed to start perceiving sweetness has a very very intense sweet taste that is associated with these sweeteners so if you were to let's say if you like apples now and you start using artificial sweeteners the taste of apples because it's not very sweet is not going to taste very sweet it's not going to taste that good anymore same thing applies if you already have a tough time eating some bitter vegetables let's say broccoli and you start using artificial sweeteners that broccoli tastes even more bitter because our brain gets started to learn to associate sweetness with the sweetness of artificial sweeteners as the actual natural sweet index so moving away from that becomes very very difficult so I would generally say you know use some sugar use some brown sugar no sugar if possible maybe some honey but I generally shy away from recommending artificial sweeteners to my patients the other problem is they all cause insulin spike and you cannot lose weight by using an artificial sweetener. Now they all say well it's zero calories so you know I'm going to lose weight if I start using artificial sweetener instead of sugar because sugar has calories. Well that is correct but at the same time when you use something sweet your body gets a signal that you got something you ate something sugary and now it's going to want to digest it and one of the responses to eating something sugar is that you're going to have an insulin release by the pancreas so every time you consume an artificial sweetener they're so sweet they're going to trigger a release of insulin and patients who are overweight tend to have insulin resistance to begin with so the insulin levels are high to begin with and on top of that you're raising the insulin levels even more by consuming these artificial sweeteners so that's why all studies they do not associate using artificial sweeteners or low calorie sweeteners causing any weight loss at all so they are not helpful so my recommendation is stay away from them some old studies uh, done in animals and rats have shown that some artificial sweeteners at least were found to have some neurological issues or some brain tumor growth in some rats some other animal studies but these were kind of in the 60s and 70s so kind of old studies but overall the FDA did approve them so they are considered safer for human use but I would still recommend against using artificial sweeteners and like I said these are my personal opinions and this is what I tell my patients who are on the weight loss program this you can discuss with your own doctor on what you think is right and I would recommend staying away from artificial sweeteners as much as possible for some of the reasons of course there are multiple other reasons and uh, I will hopefully address them in another video thank you much